Over its 100 year history, the Institute of Quarrying has taken the lead in working out what it means to be a quarrying professional in the modern world. The IQ Skills Wheel is a really simple way of showing a 360 degree view of the full range of these skills. So, you've obviously got to have a lot of technical knowledge about quarrying operations, but it's vital for any professional person to be a good communicator, to be able to work as part of a team, and to really understand how a quarry, for example, contributes to society and the local community. Our industry has changed dramatically over the last seven years, where instead of the industry employing people directly, we're working together and it is very, very important, together with industry suppliers and contractors. And this part fits very, very nicely into the, the, this element of the IQ Skills Wheel. The fact sheets are a 30 second overview of certain topics that can help you, just give you that extra bit of knowledge within certain areas. So they look at toolbox talks, look at safety committees, um, having visitors on site, looking at um, inviting the local community onto site and how to arrange for local schools and colleges to come onto site to see what, what the um, quarrying industry is actually all about. It's really important that we communicate really well with, with our neighbours because we, we don't just think about the quarry or the asphalt plant or the concrete plant, we're actually thinking about lorry drivers and the people in the local communities which are very important. How you interact with people and communicate best practice and what you want to achieve out of them is really important. You need to engage with all your employees so everybody's got the same picture of signal sitting off the same hymn sheet. Um, we need to engage with the community and the environment as well. So you look after the environment and you're keeping a good relationship with the community as well. To be proud of, you know, um, obviously you can uh, go there and learn some uh, new skills and, uh, and bring it back and uh, teach the guys. Unsafe uh, behaviour is challenged um, and, and no one's afraid to speak out and that goes right the way through the team to the man on the shovel, to the, the man at the top of the ladder. Because if you've not got the skills, then you've not got the expertise, knowledge or manpower to maintain a quarry of any size. Something that we're looking into is, is, is uh, talking to different quarries in the area and, and doing some exchanges where we can go and uh, see their practices and their safe systems and they can come and, and see what we, how, how we uh, carry out our duties here. Yeah.